Drought conditions are fueling wildfires across Texas. The fire burning near Strawn outside of Dallas Fort Worth has charred dozens of homes and other structures as Charles Bassett reports now at noon. The flames have firefighters and residents on edge. This is what firefighters are up against. Raging fires crawling over the tops of hills with nothing in their paths to stop them. You have a tinderbox. You have high temperatures. You got high winds. You got low humidity. And you got the fuel that the fire is using to burn. And when I say fuel, I'm talking about the, the vegetation, the grass, the trees. We're in a drought. This fire erupted near Strawn in Palo Pinto County. A fast-moving fire in the same area on Sunday forced the evacuation of the entire city. The fires were just flaring up back here, and the winds were expected to shift, so they, the sheriff's department came and told us that we needed to leave. This family returned to find their home intact, but that's of little comfort with fires still raging around them. They said if the wind shifts where it's blowing to the north, I mean, we're right like the first house in the path, so... Kind of scary. Authorities are trying to protect the residents from scenes like this. Homes burned to the ground, a charred landscape, a church that stood for more than 100 years reduced to nothing. It was been three days ago. Ken Mackey's house is still standing, but the property next door in ruins. Well, it came through the first time and it burned down outside and the next day the wind shifted, turned and come back and burned this side. New fire crews are pouring in daily, but the fires are only 15% contained, and it may take several more days to get them under control. We have over a million 700,000 acres on fire in the state of Texas right now, and the resources are spread very thin. They had, have all the roads. For the lucky ones like this family, the work of these firefighters is not going unnoticed. They're working night and day trying to, you know, save all of the county and everything, and there's just not enough of them to go around.